Voice or commentary recording within PTE AV Studio is much easier now than it's ever been because we have access to very good USB microphones and the software is very easy to use. The microphone that I'm using is called a Blue Yeti. It's a plug and play microphone that gives the results you're listening to here. For good audio recordings, I found that consistency is the key. I found a good distance between me and the microphone. I've done a few experiments with the gain control on the microphone. And when I've got them to a good standard, I stay with it. Write a script if you think you need one, but record just a sentence or two in each recording because that makes the positioning of the commentary on the timeline in PTE AV Studio much easier. Read your script out loud as a rehearsal, because at times our tongue can get very easily tripped up, even by something we've written ourselves for ourselves. The written word is often a little bit different to the spoken word. If we're going to make any recordings, we're going to want them to be saved into our project folder. So I'm going to arrange that via the browse here because on my desktop, I've set up a folder and I've just called my project commentary so I can save into there. So all I need to do now to start recording is to press the record button. So let's give this a try. I'm going to click the record button and speak just one sentence, then we'll stop and we'll save and exit. The recordings we make are generally going to contain some background noise. After all, we are going to be sitting quite close to our computer. So I've gone ahead and recorded two other recordings here. There's the original recording I made. There's the second one and there's the third. They appear in the file list now automatically because we set that up through that browse option. But if we go down to the extreme bottom right in the timeline, there we can see them and we can move them along the timeline. So we've got quite a bit of control. Now, as you can see here, I've moved the three recordings around just to make sure that they all sound quite nice between one and the next. And of course, we can pick up the end of the sound file and reduce the distance until we get it sounding nice. I'm going to put my cursor at the start and press play and just let this play to the end of the commentary. The recordings we make are generally going to contain some background noise. After all, we are going to be sitting quite close to our computer. Try to select a room for recording that has soft furnishings so that we can avoid the sort of echo we get in bathrooms. Not that we're generally going to set up and record in there, but you get the idea. Reading a script in a natural way is a skill we don't always appreciate until we give it a try. But practice makes perfect. So that last little section of video was exactly what I recorded through PTE AV Studio. But you will appreciate that when we start to put a slideshow together and we have to start moving images about to give them time and space to say and do whatever it is we want to do, then it's very convenient with individual takes to be able to move them into the appropriate spot. Now I mentioned before that we may have some noise even if it's just the low hum of our computer. It's not too difficult to deal with and I will be making a five minute video on how easy that is. But of course, if we had something like 20 different commentary takes here and we had to do each of those individually, that would be a bit of a drag. So once we've got our project completed and we're happy with the position of all of the commentary, we can go to this option in the timeline and we can choose to export 
the soundtrack to file. So I'm going to export this as an MP3 at the standard bitrate. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I could say commentary all just to distinguish that from the other three and click save. Now my commentary in its entirety is in one take. And that's going to be quite easy to take into a piece of software like Audacity, which is free and we can remove the noise. But we'll deal with that in another video. So this is how those three sound takes that I've just made look when they're all stitched together. But now the noise in this file is easy to fix.